Lisa Millich. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Let's Once see. again, my name is ATM Ray with All Time Media. We give a voice out to the voiceless. Guys, today we out here in Camden, New Jersey. So Lisa Millich. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? Well, I'm born and raised here, but in the city of uh, Compton. I live here. Uh, I'm 48 years old. I'm okay. Lived here all my life, but born and raised both in Cooper Hospital. Okay. Uh, That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, how's your day to day out here in Camden? How's your day to day living well, circumstances? Today is a good day. Uh, I have to say, but today is a good day. It's a beautiful day here in Cam Camden. Uh, it's a uh, it's a good city. I they've made a lot of progress. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Um, the renovations of the city has been both most successful. Okay. Most flourishing. Okay. Uh, Any family out here? Most positive. All right. And most productive. Okay. Any family out here, Lisa? Uh, I do. I live here with my family. All right. Uh, Kids? I do. I have my husband and my three ch my two children. My my daughter, my son. My daughter's three years old and my son is 18 months years old. Okay, so you're not out on the streets at all? No. no. All right, all right. But I can't say that I haven't been. Oh, yeah. I have been on the streets. Um, I went through a rough period in my life. Okay. Uh, I get emotional with it. Sorry. About, let's see, about 20, 25 years ago, yeah. uh, I was battling a drug addiction. Um, I still like alcohol. Uh, that was so you, really my drug of choice was always alcohol. So you're not you're not uh you're not dealing with the uh the drugs anymore, just drinking. No, I went and got rehabilitation, my family. I know that's right. From the streets, being that I'm a gangbanger, my family uh get me out. They get me the best rehabilitation help in the world. It was it was difficult. Yeah. yeah. But it worked. You said gangbanger. Yeah. What gang are you a part of, you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm uh, Queen Ruby of the Bloods. You the what? A Queen Ruby of the Bloods. Queen Ruby? Of the Bloods. Wow. How long have you been banging for? All my life. I have oh. to say I was born into the family. Mm. Um, my father is a gangbanger. Um, originally. And, uh, you know, street life, it's hard. Mm. You know, it'll test you. You know, at your best moment, at your worst moment. You know, because in life you go through intervals ups and downs highs and lows you know not everybody's gonna not every day is gonna be a good day today's a good day right because i'm living right today i know that's ah. right so people that you know or you know people within the gang and stuff are you like a high rank member like i am you are <laughs> five star um i have to say that i am but a star star you know what i i would have to say i'm but a star star okay um you know, there's a lot of positivity yeah. when you do good, but within the family. Yeah. It saved my life. A kid that might have been left to the streets due to uh, maybe I didn't have an easy beginning. Okay. But they showed me a way of life, okay. a reality of what's real out here. Yeah. The real that exists. Yeah. It wasn't like, ah, uh, let me go do this because this cool. Yeah. You was born into it? Or? I was born into it. And I, then I fall into the negativities of life of being, you know, this regular kid who's beautiful, smart, uh, official, rich, you know, and, you know, he, he goes into the way of life. I mean, you start partying on the weekends, you become a weekend, you know, a party or work, warrior, you know, high school student. Starts with maybe a a couple tokes of alcohol or yeah. a couple tokes of marijuana and then it leads to well let's go into, into the city tonight and uh, let's try a little bit of coke and yes, yeah. a little coke it, it graduates mm. and it's an epidemic today you know um you know you see it you know it yeah if you've been through it you know it you yeah. can feel it and it's like you want to save that next person from having to get in trouble, getting in, into the addiction, and, and get into, uh, you know, it, it graduates. I mean, I mean, how can you afford a drug habit? Right. How can you? Yeah. 
Next thing you know, you catch a charge, you go to jail, and now that's, the situation has escalated. Yeah. And, you know, in the beginning, you're, I mean, you're naive, you're innocent. Yeah. You're new, you're sweet, you're not going to know yeah. what's about to happen to you. You get catch up in the situation and you're like, oh my gosh, what just, what happened? Uh, you know, and, and you see it today, it's, I mean, it's become uh, so prevalent amongst young yeah. people. And, you know, and, it, and it's, it's heartbreaking because you want to save them. But when you're new, when you're new into the life, yeah. you know, and you don't know what's about to happen. I mean, you, you, the drug is talking to you. So, right. you know, when it talks to you, it talks to you so, it talks to you good. It talks to you so good until, you know. Lisa. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? You get addicted, and then uh, it's not so good no more. Yeah. You know, and you yeah. get in trouble with the law, and then now all of a sudden what seems like a good thing is not a good thing, it's a bad thing. Lisa, can I ask you a question, Lisa? Sure. Um, you know, you being blood, you know, blood's like, it's, 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 it's a big umbrella. Yes. It, is there a specific set that you're part of under the blood organization? Uh, well, it's, it's hard to speak about it. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Just because due to confidentiality, and, and and I'm sorry, likewise. Uh, but no, there's no specific. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ever done time for your, you know, your gang? Ever done any jail time for them? Or, you know? Um, I haven't done jail time for my gang. They didn't get me in trouble, believe it or not. It saved my life. Okay. Um, they really don't promote but things like using drugs and drug addiction. Yeah, that's and like a violation, right? It's a violation oh, and yeah. negativity and, uh, you know, uh, but downgrading your life, it's not a good thing. Yeah. You know, I hide it for a long time. Sure. They didn't know. And usually uh, a, a gangbanger, a real gangbanger is a good male. He doesn't do drugs. Mm. You know, it's not looked upon as a good thing. It's a you know, like, oh my God, you know, yeah. You're a low life. Yeah. yeah. You're a geezer. You're, you're a junkie. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're a drug addict. So when they find out, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I get in trouble. I do. You know, I, I, I'm looking back now, you know, but they wanted to help me. So they when, to help when me. you got in trouble, what was the violation? Was it like a fight or? or? I. I catch a charge for trying to support my drug habit. Mm. And uh, you just got like get yelled at, or was it more, you know? I'm looking at jail time, serious jail okay. time. And this time it's like, I'm not getting no hard. <laughs> I'm not, I can't call up both 1 800 Bell bondsmen and make a deal. Uh, I can't. Um, now, Lisa. Know, at this point, you know, you alienate your life, so I, I couldn't call upon somebody for help. Yeah. And being that I was a kid from the streets originally, I didn't have a, a real positive life to begin with. I didn't have somebody I could reach out to and say, hey, get me out of here. I want to get out. I want to get out of jail. Um, I wasn't going home this time. Yeah. That's what changed things. So being that I was separated from the drug and the negativity of life, I was able to take a time out. With yeah. this time out, I was able to look upon my life and the situation. I know that's right. Of the consequences that lead me into this most horrific experience I know that's right. of what was about to occur. I know that's right. You know, I mean, like other times before, it was like, all right, you know, uh, you do a couple of days, you see the judge, you get a ward, you go home. Um, you know, you get a ticket, you pay a fine, you go home. Um, you know, you might get sentenced to maybe uh, 90 days, 180 days, and then you go home. But not this time. Mm. And I'm realizing, you know, there's nowhere left to run. Now, at this point, my family, the gangbangers, find out about the situation. Yeah. And they say, what's up? What's happening? Yeah. What's going on, Lisa? Let's talk about this. Now, nah, you're absolutely right, Lisa. Oh, that's loud. It's loud. It's loud over there. So, Lisa, you have a few injuries, man. One on your arm. I uh, you might have to see some medical attention for that one. I do. I am getting med medical attention. Okay. I did did you fall or something? Was it a fall? Actually, it might have been as a result of gang banging. <laughs> oh, for real? It, it oh, could man. Be. But you can't say too much, right? But it's hard to say, but due to confidentiality, and I'm yeah. sorry. But um, 
But but other than this, I'm but I am all right. But I have to say the outcome has been most positive. I did end up getting help. Okay. Um, it's a long time later now. I mean, like a long time later, and it almost feels like a new life. Okay. And I get help. Okay. And um, yeah. I have to say that this has been a bless from God. Yeah. But Lisa knows. Lisa, with the most respect. Thank you for your honesty, but with the most respect, um, I want to say this the most respectful way I can say this, Lisa. Um, what happened under your eye on, on your face? Well, it was a little injury from when I uh, was banging out. I had a little fall. Okay. <laughs> I tripped up a little bit. Oh, so you got in a lot of fights, <laughs> gang banging but and overall, stuff. I'm alive. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Alive. I'm healthy. Uh, Lisa, you still so you still active? You know, you in your forties, you still active. You know. Well, I'm a gangbanger for life. This is my life, my family. They saved my life. Yeah. They got me help. Uh. Um, other than this, I reached out to a lot of people. Yeah. And I was embarrassed to tell them that, you know, I was going through something, you know, I said, being that I'm of high status, yeah. I'm a queen, Ruby the Bloods, I, it was it was most horrific for me. I said, oh my gosh, I'm humiliated. Yeah. I feel this big. Um, you know, how does this happen? But the question is, how does it not happen? Yeah. You know, it's like saying but you know, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Uh, he loved us as for our sins. Yeah. Lisa, can I ask though, right? Um, what's the definition of the Queen Ruby? Is that the highest ranked female or in um in the bloods? In but the sector of the bloods, yeah. It is both the highest respectivo, both genuine SO both of the Contrusivo, of the Contrivaso of the Bloods. Okay. And to break that down in layman term, it is um, a high level of respect. You had to have worked hard to get to where you're at in life. High education level, uh, high professionalism with uh, job employment. Mm -hmm. um, within your self esteem and of who you perceive yourself to be both as a human being yeah. both as a female as a lady as a woman as a male as a man um, as a human being but as an individual yeah. a high productive member of society that is both most flourishing both positive but respectable and both perspective uh, both in the productivity, both of life, both in the self-esteem, both of high establishment, though, of both empowerment, both enrichment, both enlivenment, so both of real, though, but life, though. Okay. Lisa, a.k.a. Queen Ruby, would you tell the kids out here that's doing drugs, that's drinking alcohol, that's gangbanging, what would you tell the kids, Lisa? What advice would you give the kids? Cool. Nothing positive comes out of it. It might take away the pain of whatever you're going through at this time. You know, it's it's deceptive. It's so deceptive because it comes in and it makes you feel good, and it takes your mind away from all the pain mm. and the suffering of whatever it is that you're going through, mm. your circumstance, your situation, uh, the negativities of your life, of the next stages of your situation. Mm. It's a shortcut, but to a dead end. In the end, nothing good comes out of it. Okay. Um, it's a downward spiral into something that's only going to open up more windows and doors, both into negativity. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to see that in the beginning because it's, you know, it's, it's glamorous in the beginning. It's, it's a glamorization. It's, it, it behooves you. It fools you. Um, but in the end, yeah, it's nothing but suffering and pain. You know, it wishes you nothing but, but drug addiction, wishes you nothing but, but, but alcoholism and drug addiction, it wishes you nothing but suffering and pain. Yeah. Uh, it gets worse before it gets better. And but unfortunately, it has to get worse before it gets better, in most cases. Um, but you don't want this to happen because by then it's too late. And then... So, but fortunately, because my, I find out in the end, 
the, the drug that I like the most is alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was able to overcome the drugs, <laughs> believe to be honest. So you used alcohol to overcome the drugs. Do you, some people say alcohol is worse than the actual hardcore drugs. What you think? It's hard to say because I like the alcohol more so than the drugs. <laughs> I know that's I, right. You know, alcohol is more my drug of choice. Um, I still think drugs is worse than alcohol. Yeah. Especially uh, drugs like crack. Yeah. But crack cocaine, it's such an epidemic today. Yeah. It's a highly addictive drug. I mean, I remember when that drug, but the commercial first came out in the 80s. Yeah. There's a new street drug but called by crack cocaine. Mm. It fries your brain mm. like an egg. It fries your brain. Man. But crack cocaine, it fries your brain. Fries crack your brain. Cocaine. You know, fortunately, that's not my drug of choice. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's a bad epidemic today, you know, and I see it. And looking back now, now that I'm clean and sober off of drugs, yeah. I uh, I don't envy the person that's battling it today. Absolutely not. I praise God all day. You know, it, what God, what Allah has done for me, oh, uh, uh, because I'm biracial, my father is uh, Islamic. Uh, okay. So I'm born into Islamity. Okay. What God, Allah has done for me okay. has saved my life. Um, but, but once more, once again, nothing good comes out of drug addiction. Um, eventually, something bad is going to happen. It's inevitable. Okay. Because it's a lifestyle, you know. It's, it's everything you do all day, the people you're around, the things you do, uh, the things you breed, the things you do. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm thankful I've been clean now for... about 20, 25 years. Okay. As I said in the beginning. All right. I, uh, That's a long I got, time, Lisa. I can help it 20, 25 so, years ago. So what really helped you get clean? Was it gel, the alcohol? Was it your game? I, uh, what really helped you get clean, Lisa, for those that can't have can't get clean right now? For those that's getting high right now, what advice you got for them, Lisa? Unfortunately, with all, um, I tried to hide it from my family for a long time. I, I moved away. I said, you're not going to bother me no more. I want to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Leave me be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Sure. Because the drug starts speaking to you. It possesses you. It really do. It puts you in a trance. A trance of dance. You know, it's like, I hear when I want to hear. I hear you. And I only hear you. All right, Lisa. My name is ATM Ray with All Time Bye. Media. Um, thank you for having the courage to speak out. Once again, we give out a voice to the voiceless. God bless you. Or oh, maybe, hopefully, you could kick the cup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, like and I drugs. wish you the best of drugs. luck out of here, Lisa. Thank you. Blessings to you. God bless you, but thank you. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind-the-scenes content and face-to-face -face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.